What's up everybody, Trainer Cobb, aka Cobb Diesel coming at you with my next video in my series on supplements. Today I'm going to be talking about probably one of the most widely used supplements by young men uh, who are working out in the gym and, and uh, getting into bodybuilding, and that's creatine. Um, creatine has probably been around uh, the longest and probably the most uh, studied uh, of the supplements, there's, there's uh, quite a bit of information out there. So, as always, with any of my videos, I encourage you to get out there after you watch my video and research everything I'm telling you and make your own decision. I'm just giving you the information. So, what creatine is used for, and I got a couple of samples here, and by the way, I'm not endorsing any brand uh, at all, but I got a couple samples here. There's a, a couple of different kinds of creatine. Um, creatine has come out in different forms of generations. The first generation creatine was just this white kind of um, crystalline little powder that you would add into protein shakes. And then second generation was the flavored powder that you could just add in the water. And then after that, you started getting like the crealkaline and that kind of stuff. So what what creatine is used for is to volumize muscle. Now there are people out there who claim that when they use creatine it gives them more energy to do more sets and reps and all that and um, if that's what they feel it does for them that's great. Now I've taken creatine for me it doesn't do anything for me. I've never felt the effects of taking creatine. I, I never felt like it gave me more energy or helped me work out harder um, really what it does to me is kind of makes my stomach a little poochy. That's my experience. Not to say that it would be the same for you. I know other people that take creatine and, and it doesn't do that to them. So again, it's one of those things you'll have to get out there, try it for yourself, and if it works for you, great. All right, so what creatine does is it volumizes the muscle cell. It volumizes the muscle cell by allowing the muscle cell to hold more water. So when the muscle cell holds more water, it gives the appearance that the muscle is bigger. It uh, could aid in giving you that pump because as you're working out, the muscle is going to increase in size anyway because of the buildup of lactic acid. And then you mix in the water with it, and there you go. You, got, uh, you look fuller. You feel fuller. Uh, but it is temporary, so... Um, it, it will eventually uh, come out of the muscle cell as the creatine drops, the level of creatine in the blood drops, the water will come out of the muscle cell, you basically pee it out. Uh, so it is a temporary effect. Um, I don't see any problem using it. Uh, if you're competing, uh, you, you can use it during bulking season. Uh, if you uh, are competing, uh, once you go into the cutting season, any clients that I have, um, I, I have them come off of it just for the reasons that we just talked about because obviously when you're cutting you don't want to be flat, you don't want to look smooth, you want to be um, cut and defined so that you can see the separation in the muscle. For the everyday gym goer it's just one of those things if you take it and you feel like it's doing something for you use it and and if you don't feel like it's doing anything for you don't waste your money. Um, um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, again, I, I've never felt that it really did anything for me, uh, so I don't. I don't ever really use it. So, all right, guys, that's my take on creatine. Uh, like I said, get out, research, do your own research, try some, and if again, if you feel like it's working for you, go ahead and use it. Uh, and if not, don't waste your money. All right, everybody. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Please share it, and also please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.